Okay, we've got the 12 amp hour on the left, 9 amp hour on the right. I just got done using both of these batteries in the Milwaukee chainsaw. That video sequence follows this sequence showing the charge times. So stay tuned for that if you're interested in seeing how much work was done with the 12 amp, amp hour battery, that 9 amp hour battery, and then there was a third 9 amp hour battery. But these, are, these two batteries overheated in the following video sequence. And you can see for yourself what kind of downtimes I had and how much work I got done with those batteries. Um, I'll tell you right now that the charge time on the 12 amp hour runs about an hour and 50 minutes. Uh, the charge time on the 9 amp hour runs about 50 minutes. So factor that in when you think about workflow and you know how much work are you going to get done with this milwaukee electric chainsaw now the other thing to note is in the following video sequence of me cutting up a downed tree you need to realize that i normally wouldn't push the saw this hard normally i would make some cuts get my kubota tractor out move the lumber away and then make some more cuts and go back and forth between chainsaw and tractor giving the chainsaw a few minutes to cool down between making several cuts so i deliberately pushed the saw hard in the following sequence to try to give a, a better sense of a real world workflow and um yeah, I think I think it was a little extreme. Do I like the saw? Yes. Is this is a 12 amp hour battery awesome? Yes. It's it, it's really good. I don't have any regrets purchasing the saw or the battery, um, which came with the saw. Um, but you do have to be aware that there's 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 overheating and cool down issues. The battery right here, I'm showing it off the charger, is pretty hot. I was kind of surprised. Um, you really got to give the battery some time to cool down and regenerate. Okay, so I have a fully charged 12 amp hour battery, the Milwaukee chainsaw. I also have on hand ready a fully charged 9 amp hour battery. I have a full bar oil reservoir and you can watch me cut up this tree and i'm gonna just run it and run it until it's dead one of the things that scares me a little bit about this saw is is that right now the only safety on it is this button on the handle because I haven't put the brake on because it doesn't have an engine that's running I don't have that sense that it's live and I have to remind myself that with electric that thing is live Sometimes when I don't think of it as being live because there isn't an engine running on it. So I have to get in the habit of putting the brake on to kind of put it safe and take the brake off. Gotta make sure this thing doesn't roll over on me. You know, it wouldn't hurt if Milwaukee had some sort of an LED on there just so that there was a sense that maybe, maybe connect the LED to the brake so that when the brake is off, the LED is on just so that people have some sort of a visual reminder that that electric chainsaw is ready to go. That's a 
about a four inch. Well, that's a four or a five inch. It just, it just goes through that like butter. Well, this tree, maple, has been dead for about one year. It's pretty dry. You can see the way that it breaks, that it's dry. It's been rained on pretty heavily a few times while it was laying on the ground here. Don't know how much moisture it would have soaked up in that process. Through that four inch maple is just nothing for this saw. Um, this blade is probably not perfectly sharp because I've used the saw I would say, I think this is my fourth or fifth charge on this saw since I bought it. So, what you're watching is not a brand new Milwaukee chainsaw right out of the box. This has been used a little bit. Yep. Oh, oh, got it stuck. All right. If I let go, the bar is going to want to bend. Let's see if I can get that out of there. Okay, good. I got that out. Sure looks like it's ready to roll. All right, so now we're cutting into what do we got? Six, eight inches? Just fun. You can see that I'm I'm pretty much over with treating it delicately like I, I did when it was new because with a you know plastic chainsaw you just kinda not sure how you're gonna treat it. All right, I don't know where that video stopped. That clip stopped at some point, but was cutting up this log. And it got overheat. All right, so it's still showing me overheated. It's but when it cooled off, it was the tool bar. So 116 degrees on the bottom, 106, 107. Shows 90 on the front side. 103 on this side, so so I worked it pretty hard, and uh, it has overheated. All right, so what am I cutting? I am cutting through maple. That is 15 inches. 15 inches there. This is 13 inches. 12. So you know we went right down the line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteenth cut. It overheated. Battery's not dead. Should I switch over to the nine amp while that's cooling down? Okay, that makes the video confusing, but and now oh, it's still overheated. <laughs> Check the temp on the 12. All right, so I got two bars. It says 115 degrees. All right, let's switch back. Switch back to the 12 amp hour. See what happens. 
so this is going to get to be a really confusing video because now you don't even have a sense of how far you can go on a 9 amp hour uninterrupted all right There's another overheat right there. Boy, it, let me see here. I should lay this maybe upside down so it can get some ventilation. Um, it's, it's about uh, 77, 76 degrees out here. So it's not 80s, 90s, 100 degrees outside right now. It's a real nice, cool evening. We have three bars on the nine amp hour. It's 111 degrees on the bottom. Yep, I, I, I kind of thought that was coming. So there we overheated, overheated the nine amp hour. Yep, we got the Christmas tree lights going on there. Okay, so where are we at on this one? All right, Christmas tree lights on that. With all the splicing of the video and the changing of the batteries, it's probably getting confusing to tell how much work is actually getting done with each battery. Well, I have not even been out here one hour. Um, I should have checked the time, but I didn't. Um, I think that I've been out here a little more than half an hour and uh, overheated two batteries in that time. This is the third battery. This is the second 9 amp hour battery that I've gone and grabbed just to continue working here and getting this cut up. Yeah, that is some that is some hard cutting there. Oh, I got the angle wrong too. It's not even gonna cut all the way through. You know, the this distance here is quite a bit. I kinda wish this handle was a little bit back farther so that there was more of an angle here. Sometimes I find it a little restrictive. You know, I can't get I can't get the angle that I want, and then I gotta do this, and then it's pushing against me. Okay, that's, that's starting to kink up. I need to get on the tractor. And uh, what do we got? Two bars. Two bars. What do we got? What do we got here now? 12 amp hour. I got two bars. It's cooled off. What about the 9 amp hour? The second one. Two bars and it's cooled off. Okay, so this is at so 115. I don't know. That's still pretty warm. <laughs> this is also 115. Of course, is it sitting in the sun? It's black. All right, let's put it in the shade here. So we're back to the 12 amp hour battery, two bars. find out how strong or flimsy a plastic chainsaw is. Okay, good. All right, so that piece is cut. Oh. Okay, so where are we at? We have 
two half dead 9 amp hour batteries, one overheated, one didn't. And I have the 12 amp hour battery that has cooled off now. It took about, I just, um, the break in the video is about 10 to 15 minutes, but the button shows one bar. Now, one bar flashing. All right, one bar flashing, I believe that means it is dead and not overheated. All right, so that's the 12 amp hour is dead. Oh yeah, I think, I think the battery is limiting. Oh, one bar. Okay, this nine amp hour, this nine amp hour is dead. Dead, but still trying to, uh, still trying to deliver. That's a champ. Okay, that overheated. Got the Christmas tree lights going on that one. All right, and that's that's good. That's enough. One 12 amp hour battery dead. Another nine amp hour dead, and then a second nine amp hour battery overheated. It's 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 at one bar, but it's overheated, and I'm gonna call it good. And I think that I've been out here for about an hour and 10 or 15 minutes. Um, and by out here, I also am including the 10 minutes I went in and filled the bar, refilled the bar oil, and uh, let those batteries cool down. So, so about an hour and 15 minutes, maybe an hour and 20 minutes. Yeah.